All right, Tristan, let me start with you. And I want to start with the day before you were even picked that night and the really cool idea you had to try to bring the draft to your house. You rolled out the red carpet for your mom. The video was phenomenal. What was her reaction like? You know, she was really excited. She got a little emotional about halfway down the red carpet. She had been pretty stressed a couple days leading up to the draft. She worked three overnight shifts at Target. You know, she was struggling setting up those cameras we had in the house. I think she needed that, but she liked it. What was it like for you to know that the Bucks thought highly enough of you to give up a later pick just to move up one spot to make sure they got you in the first round? I thought it was pretty awesome, you know, for them to do that and go get me. You know, it was only, they just moved up one spot, like you said, losing a later pick. I was just pumped up. Antoine, you ended up being the Bucks' second round pick. You're a defensive back. You're going to see the likes of Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Mike Evans, some phenomenal other receivers. I mean, what are your thoughts of joining that defense and practicing on a daily basis against an offense with names like that? Yeah, man, it's going to be a grind. Um, you know, like, just all the offensive weapons. Um, you know, my goal coming yes. in, I put my head down and work hard, and I know I'm going up against the best, but I feel like that's the way to get the best out of me. So I know I'm only going to get better from going against those guys. Obviously, very few players in this draft had the ability that you had to lean on a family member, your father in this situation, to manage your emotions both going into and then manage the expectations coming out of the draft. How has he helped you in that way? Yeah, he's just uh, been there as somebody I can just talk to about anything. Uh, right now, all he's telling me to do is just keep working and just wait until, you know, the coronavirus clear up and everything so we can uh, get down to the Tampa Bay. But mainly just to just keep, continue to keep working so I go down there. Now, Tyler, I did mention that you'll also obviously be part of that offense practicing against Antoine and the Bucks defense. But this is going to be like Groundhog Day for you guys because I imagine you had your own battles at the U. Now, I know Antoine was safety, not a corner, so maybe he didn't start covering you. But when it ended that way, let's be honest, who won most of those battles in Minneapolis? <laughs> a lot of going back and forth, man. A lot of <laughs> yeah. You know, we've been competing against each other every freshman year, so a lot of come back and forth. It's just crazy that we get this opportunity to do it in the pros now. It, it's crazy. Yeah. Tyler, like, what's your he, response to that same question? Hey, he pretty much took the words out of my mouth, man. Like, we've been battling hard for four years and going against each other from in the weight room onto the football field. So, um, been able to learn from each other as well, and I'm very excited. Now, there are many draft experts who believe you shouldn't last past the third round. You went into the fifth. Do you treat that as disrespect? Do you use it as motivation? How do you handle that? Honestly, I was just taking it day by day. I feel like God has a plan. He's going to put me in the right situation. And I'm blessed to be in Tampa now, you know. So um, I let everything like that go because everybody's journey has to start all over. You know, everybody has to reprove themselves. I look forward to coming in, working hard you know, learning from great vets around me. And like I said, just continue to work hard and be the best player I could possibly be. Interesting defensively that Khalil Davis joins a defense in which I imagine your mentor, as soon as you get to get started, is another former Husker in Dominican Sue. I know I've heard Bucks executives already say they expect him to be mentoring you the moment that you step foot in training camp. What do you think that'll be like? Uh, it'll be a, just an awesome experience to come in the league with someone who went to your school and, you know, did everything that you always wanted to do. So um, it'll be awesome. Uh, I'm just ready to work and ready to learn. So. I have to tell you, the celebration that we saw in the Davis house, not just after you were picked, but after your brother Carlos was picked in the next round, I'll be honest with you, Khalil, it seemed like you may have been more excited to hear Carlos's name than you were to hear your own name. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we've been doing this thing for a long time and, uh, you know, I was happy that I, that I got my name called, So, um, but I wouldn't be as happy if he didn't get his name called. So I was just, you know, even more excited when he got his chance to, uh, to be a part of the Steelers. 